It's the Forces Station, BFBS. I'm Chris Kay. Peter Sutcliffe was convicted of murdering 13 women in 1981, most of them prostitutes. He carried out these despicable crimes over a five-year period and was arrested in January 1981 for driving with false number plates. He was then questioned about the killings and then later confessed to being the perpetrator. And to capture the Yorkshire Ripper was one of the biggest inquiries in British police history. Now, a new book claims that the Yorkshire Ripper, Peter Sutcliffe, killed another 23 people and West Yorkshire Police covered it up. Uh, West Yorkshire Police deny that. They say there's no substance to those allegations. Let me speak to the uh, co-author of the book, Chris Clark. He's the author of The Yorkshire Ripper, The Secret Murders. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Uh, thank you for being here. So, first of all, um, tell me a little bit about your background before we actually get on to the book. I did nearly 30 years as a police officer in Norfolk. Uh, I assisted in starting up the intelligence system in 1968 and I became the local intelligence officer in 1988 for four years. So you've got your police background, so you know the inner workings and how it all uh, fits together. And tell me about your co-author. Tim Tate spent 13 years in Yorkshire as a, uh, a journalist, as well as a film company which um, covered the Cook Report. Now, why did you decide to put this book together? mainly because there were so many unsolved crimes of the 1970s that seemed to match one very frenzied natured killer which occurred universally across the united kingdom so you're claiming that there are another 23 victims and you're attributing those to peter sutcliffe so what evidence have you gathered um, that's led you to that conclusion the uh, nature of the method the motive and the opportunity all fit in to the 23 crimes that I have researched. I can actually put geographically Peter Sutcliffe within each of those locations around about the material time. Peter Sutcliffe was, uh, was a lorry driver, so he would have travelled uh, around the country. Um, well, he was a lorry driver from 1975 onwards, but I've got a number of these crimes that were predated that, and he was using his own... A vehicle to visit socially um, both his sister-in-law in London and his sister at Duxford in Cambridgeshire. I'm talking to author Chris Clark about his new book The Secret Murders and back with more in just a moment. It's nine minutes past eight of BFBS. A new book on the Yorkshire Ripper claims that Peter Sutcliffe was responsible for the murder of a further 23 victims and West Yorkshire Police covered it up. Allegations the West Yorkshire Police deny. Chris Clark is the co-author of The Secret Murders. Now, Chris, tell me about one of the crimes, the body in the nettles, because that was the closest case to Catrick. Yes, um, it's quite a strange one. In um, August 1981, the local police near Thursk uh, received a telephone call from uh, someone with a refined voice, um, leading them with a map reference to a body of a young woman that was found nude in the nettles near Trial. Sutton Bank in North Yorkshire. Um, the interesting thing that the newspapers reported were that the police found three tracks leading from different directions to the point of where the body was found. The police and the public at the time were mystified as to who had made the call, but I feel it was probably something to do with special forces operations that were going on in the area at the time doing the troubles. Why, why do you say that? Um, well, the, the, the man spoke with a refined voice and he said for national security reasons he couldn't divulge who he was or what purpose he had in the area. So you're claiming also in this book that uh, West Yorkshire Police has been a, a cover-up, something that they, they deny. What, why do you say there was a cover-up? I've spent uh, the last two years in Broad in Armlock with uh, West Yorkshire Police over a number of freedom of information requests and they have denied these requests to me but also they have uh, orchestrated a, a, a muddy tricks campaign to basically try and thwart my uh, quest for justice. So now the, uh, the book has been published, what do you hope is going to be the result 
you know, when people uh, read this and digest the information? It's uh, threefold, actually. It, it's to bring justice for the victims, justice and exoneration for three young men who were embroiled in separate uh, police murder trials, which um, led to their imprisonment for 25 years or more. And thirdly, to have Peter Sutcliffe removed from Broadmoor, which is a mental institution, back to prison because his crimes were sexually motivated. Well, the Yorkshire Ripper, The Secret Murders, is out now. Uh, author Chris Clark, thank you for being on BFBS. Thank you, Chris.